Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about equivalent interest rate and effective rate. Our objective is to solve problems involving equivalent in interest rate. So, we need to familiarize first some of the definition of terms. First is equivalent rate. So, what is equivalent rates? It is a two annual rates with different conversion periods that will earn the same maturity value for the same time. And also, the nominal rate is the annual interest rate may be compounded more than once a year. Effective rate, that is a rate when compounded annually, will give the same compound each year with the nominal rate denoted by R. So, gagamitin natin to, yung mga uh, terms na to. Example number one, so what effective rate is equivalent to 10% compounded quarterly? So, kanina sabi sa definition natin, when you say effective rate, that is the rate when compounded annually. So, what are the given? So, R raised to 4. So, ilagay natin R raised to 4 para lang ma-determine na this is compound rate for compounded quarterly. No? Ito yung rate for compounded quarterly. And that is 10%. So, you need to convert into decimal kaya 0 0.10. And then the frequency of conversion, that is 4. Why? Because of quarterly. And then, kailangan natin kunin yung effective rate, which is R, or that is the rate compounded annually. So, paano natin kunin yun? So, F1, that is represented to find the future value, no? the formula to find the future value of compounded annually. And that is equal to F2. Ito naman, uh, we are using the formula and getting the future value in finding the compounded more than once a year. So, kung ano yung hinahanap, so of course, dito natin ilagay sa left side. So, ano ba yung formula ng pagkuha ng future value kapag compounded annually? So, this is P times 1 plus R is to T. Kapag more than once a year naman, ano yung pure formula? So, in our previous video lesson, we already used that. So, this is, okay, the present value times 1 plus R of R raised to M over M raised to MT. Okay, so, after nito class, after nito, we need to divide both sides by P. So, pag dinivide both sides by P, so, anong maiwan na lang? We have, 1 plus r is equal to uh, 1 plus r raised to t is equal to 1 plus r raised to m over m raised to mt. And then, after this, since meron tayong uh, exponent dito, so tatandaan nyo class, kapag nandito yung hinahanap natin and then may exponent tayo, para mawala yan, imumultiply natin both equations sa reciprocal nito. So, ano reciprocal niya? That is 1 over t. So, pag minultiply natin by, uh, and then raise, pag raise natin both side by 1 over t, so, anong may iwan na lang? So, kapag minultiply natin, t times 1 over t, so, the answer na lang is 1 plus r. Tama? And then, dito, anong may iwan na lang? M na lang. Okay? And then, after that, substitute na natin yung given natin, that is 1 plus r is equal to, 1 plus 0 0.10 over 4 raised to 4. And then using your calculator, you can uh, uh, direct cal uh, you can compute it directly. Okay? So, 1 plus R is equal to, uh, that is 1.025. Okay? Dinugtong na natin. 0 0.10 divide 4, that is 0 0.025 plus 1, kaya 1.025 raised to 4. Since meron, ito yung hinahanap natin, yung effective rate natin, that is, pag sinabi natin effective rate, that is a rate compounded annually. So, since may one tie dito, we need to uh, transpose to the right side. So, or lipat natin yung 1 dun sa right side. So, R is equal to 1.025 raised to 4 minus 1. So, the answer is, R is equal to 0 0.103813. Bakit 6 decimals yung ginamit natin? O yung 6 uh, decimal places yung ginamit natin? In this uh, lesson class, 
yung pagkuha natin ng effective rate sa equivalent rate, mas importante na uh, up to 6 decimal places yung kunin natin para yung sagot natin is precise, no? Hindi malayo dun sa katotohanan. So, I suggest kapag kukunin yung effective rate and uh, no, equivalent rate, so kunin natin yung uh, anim na decimals. And then after this, since uh, rate ito, we need to convert into percent. So multiply lang natin by 100. So the answer is 10.3813%. So that is the effective rate that na equivalent sa 10% compounded quarterly. What nominal rate, okay, for example, number 2, what nominal rate compounded annually is equivalent to 12% compounded monthly? Given, so sa 12% compounded monthly, so the nominal rate is 0 0.12 and the frequency of conversion is 12. So sa compounded annually, so ito yung hinahanap natin, yung nominal rate sa compounded annually with a uh, frequency of uh, conversion, 1. Okay, sabi ko nga kanina, kapag kung ano yung hinahanap na equivalent, so lagi natin ipwesto sa left side. So yung compounded annually, so we denote as F, sub 1 and compounded monthly F sub 2. So, since nandito yung hinahanap natin, yung nominal rate ng compounded annually. Kapag compounded annually, ano yung gagamitin natin? Kagaya ng pre sa previous slide natin, so yan din. Okay, dito, so 1 plus R over M raised to MT. So, same process, divide both side by P and then, ah, uh, raise both side by the reciprocal of this, you know, yung exponent natin dito. Alright? So, after this, so, makukuha na natin ito. And then, substitute natin. Since ito yung kinukuha natin, the compounded annually, you know, the rate compound, the nominal rate compounded annually, so, uh, substitute lang natin yung given. So, 1 plus R is equal to 1 plus, so yung R raised to M natin is 0 0.12. So, ito yon And then, over 12. So, this, uh, this is a uh, frequency of conversion. Raised to 12. Okay? And after that, so simplify. Use your calculator to answer this. 1 plus R is equal to 1 plus uh, 0 0.12 divided 12 is 0 0.01. So, 1.01 raised to 12 since itong kinukuha natin, the nominal rate compounded annually, so lipat natin yung 1 sa kabila. So that is 1.01 raised to 12 minus 1. The nominal rate is equal to 0 0.126825. And then convert into percent. Therefore, R is equal to 12.6825% compounded annually. So that is the equivalent rate sa 12% compounded monthly. Okay. Another example, what nominal rate are compounded quarterly is equivalent to 8% compounded semi-annually? So, our given, so 8% compounded semi-annually, kukunin natin yung nominal rate na equivalent sa uh, 0 0.08. Okay? Sa so 8% by the way. So, Again, ang hinahanap natin is yung nominal rate ng compounded quarterly. So, i-question natin siya sa left side. That is equal to compounded semi-annually. Since quarterly na to class, ibig sabihin more than once a year na. Hindi kagaya kanina sa example 1 and 2 natin, compounded annually lang. So, ang ginagamit natin is na formula is P times 1 plus R raised to T. Ngayon, Ang formula na gagamitin nito ay kagaya rin na dito sa kabila na since compounded more than once a year na. So, para hindi tayo malito class, so lagyan natin dito ng R raised to 4 para alam natin na this is for compounded quarterly. And then R raised to 2, this is for compounded semi-annually para hindi kayo malito. Okay? So, and after that, so divide both side by P and raise both side by 1 over, one to, uh, one over T. So, ano maging sagot natin dyan? So, ito na lang. Alright? And then, substitute. So, 1 plus R uh, raised to 4 over 4 raised to 4 is equal to 1 plus uh, 0 0.08 divide 2 raised to 2. 
And then simplify, use your calculator to answer this. The answer is, ah, okay, by the way, class, you cannot answer it uh, uh, first. Ang gawin muna natin, class, since sabi ko nga sa inyo, once na may exponent ka dito, para mawala to, since ito yung hinahanap natin, para mawala yung exponent natin dito, we need to raise both sides by the reciprocal of this. So, ano yung reciprocal ng 4? So, ang goal natin dito is para mawala yung 4. Okay? Yung exponent natin dito sa left side. So, ang gawin natin, multiply natin both side by the reciprocal nitong 4. And that is 1 over 4. So, i-raise natin. I-raise natin sa 1 over 4 is equal to. Uh, dito rin, raise din natin sa 1 over 4. So, kapag minultiply natin to 4 times 1 fourth, that is 1. So, ang matitira na lang dito, 1 plus uh, r over 4 raised to 4, uh, r raised to 4 over 4 is equal to 1.04. So, if you use your calculator, 2 times 1 fourth, that is 1 half. Raised to 1 half. Okay? So, again, kapag may Kapag meron tayong exponent dito, class, so ang gagawin nyo lang, i-raise natin both side of the equation sa reciprocal nito, ng exponent niya. Okay? So, and then after that, so lipat natin yung 1 dun sa kabilang side. So, that will become 1.04 raised to 1 half minus 1. And using your calculator, the answer is 0.019804. And after that, since may 4 pa tayo, eh, ito nga yung hinahanap natin, the nominal rate compounded quarterly. So, we need to multiply uh, our answer by 4. So, 0 0.019804 times 4, the answer is 0 0.079216. Okay, you can use your calculator no, to answer this. So, therefore, R is equal to 7.9216% compounded quarterly. So, after nito, kailangan natin muna i-convert in percent or para makuha, you multiply this into, uh, multiply your answer by 100 para makuha yung 7.9216%. Okay? Okay, another example. What nominal rate compounded semi-annually is equivalent to 12% compounded monthly? So, given 12% compounded monthly, so we have uh, the nominal rate 0.12, so... Again, that is converted na no, into decimal. So, ang kukunin natin is yung compounded semi-annual in a nominal rate. Now, uh, so that is, since ang hinahanap natin is compounded semi-annual, so ilagay natin sa left side, and dito naman, compounded monthly. So, kagaya ng kanina, no, ang ginagawa muna, divide muna natin, both side by P and raise both side by, uh, both side to 1 over T. So, maging ganyan. So, ang ilagay natin dito is R raised to 2. So, ibig sabihin that is referring for the rate compounded semi-annually. Dito naman, R raised to 12. Uh, that is the rate compounded monthly para hindi kayo malito. Alright? So, substitute now the givens. 1 plus 0 0.12 over 12 raised to 12. So, since meron tayong exponent dito, so, i-raise -re muna natin both side natin by the reciprocal nitong exponent natin which is 2 so ang reciprocal nito is 1 half so i-raise natin both side by 1 half okay so 2 times 1 half so ang answer niya na is 1 plus r is it 2 over 2 is equal to uh, 12 times 1 half that is 6 so 1.01 .01 raised to 6 so sinimplify na natin to again use your calculator to answer this Okay, kasi hirap i-mano-mano i-compute to. Next, so dipat natin yung 1. So, 1.01 .01 raised to 6 minus 1. The answer is 0 0.061520. And then, may 2 pa tayo dito. So, we need to multiply. 0 0.061520 times 2. The answer is 0 0.12304. Okay, so kasi ang kasunod na nito 0. Kaya... 5 uh, decimal places lang. So, therefore, the equivalent rate is 12.304% compounded semi-annually. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.